Hey guys, today is Friday, and another cha- another Friday means another chapter of not only My Hero Academia, but Black Clover. And today will be the first chapter of Black Clover that I will actually be covering on this channel. Um... Yeah, this this is one of this again this is one of the last couple of chapters of Black Clover have actually been pretty kinda intense and like pretty way up, pretty up there in the hype. So this chapter picks up with um Yami and uh, I'm really trying the captain of the Blue Roses. And they're inside of this I believe I'm not sure I think Yami coated them in like a dark cocoon or something like that but they're they're basically inside of the uh the demon's other world magic the one that kind of sucks the uh mana from the body of anybody except Asta since he doesn't have any mana and we found out that the captain of the blue roses she can actually she can actually use healing magic and that's what they're they're inside of this uh little cocoon and she's actually healing yami and you know she complains that he's too close and he's like yeah you're still you're still a thorny princess you know even inside of that and then so basically to show us that the, you know that they're alive but i doubt anybody expect yami to die but you gotta just pick up on that so then the it instantly cuts back to the licked the first wizard king and Nero who is actually not even Nero just the girl who name I forgot but we see Asta and you know they're there Asta completely starts flipping out he's like that's the first wizard king like the, something something's gonna and then you know it's like oh uh, we see Yuno, you know, Asta, and Patri. They all like they all flip. They all like flabbergasted, looking at the fact that first Wizard King just showed up. And then you see Yuno. You know, he's like, uh, "Calm down, Asta. I think we're just, you know, seeing things." And instantly, I'm gonna keep calling her Nero. But instantly, Nero walks up to Licked, who is not fully awakened, and she uses her sealing magic to basically unseal. The seal that has been placed on his soul to completely wake him up and the first thing we see is like as soon as he wakes up we see him um first off his short his short his sword starts shining he actually has the uh demon dweller sword so if you don't remember he took it from asta and then he purified it so it actually works at his optimal level but I, which I don't think Asta can get, unless like at the end of this, like when everything's said and done, Lick's like, oh, you've been so good, you're taking care of my grimoire, I'm gonna go ahead and purify all these swords and give you an upgrade, but no, first thing we get is this beautiful panel when he, uh, he actually thanks the first Wizard King, he's, whose name is Lumiere, if you don't know, which is kind of cool the first wizard king's name is I, i'm not i can't remember i think it was like german or something for light and then licked is like some other language for light also which is kind of weird seeing as licked was like the sword magic person and patry was the light magic person but anyways I get, you get a pretty t- touching thank you and not only that this this one like page looked beautiful to the point where you you'd honestly you when this is why the manga of like black clover is so much better than the anime the anime is good but it has like it's sh- shoddy moments with the uh animation but w- pages like this will just like really bring you back into it it was really good but um after this licked goes to patriot and he tells him he's like you know i don't know everything I don't know the full story, but I know some of it. And I can see what you've done and how you've been doing things. You know, because Patri, he, he lashed out on humans thinking that they were actually the bad guys and all this when it was actually the elves and the humans who were tricked. But, um, yeah, he's like, I'm glad to see that you found people who could bring you back from descending into descending any further into, like, uh, despair as well, you know, 
looking at Austin, you know. And he basically tells him, like, I don't know if anybody else can forgive you or for what you did or, like, all the mistake you made, but I'm I'm – I'm proud of you. You you did good. And like Patriot just starts like bawling his eyes out on uh, Lick's shoulder. After this, we get some we get to see why like Lick and the first M- Wizard King are like held in high regards. They instantly start coming at the uh the devil who is waking up and they're coming at him so fast. They're using their attacks in combination. Lick he has the demon dweller story, so it can absorb any a magic attack. And like send it back out. So the the uh, the first wizard king, he comes at him. He boom, 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 boom. He shouldn't like a bunch of shots. Shot the devil dodges a shot. He thinks like, oh yeah, he missed. No, he sent that straight to Lick, who comes back in with a follow up shot, just smacks him with the sword and stuff. And they're just coming. They're just coming at him too fast to the point where he can't even use his word magic because he can't process what's going on so he can't really attack at the same time because they're doing something different by the time he can actually attack what they were doing but then we see that the first emperor first wizard king first wizard emperor magic emperor whichever one you prefer he comes in and he gets a sword right through the devil a light sword but he also gets his arm chopped off in the process now being reawakened and you know he's still kind of like semi covered in stone so I wonder if like he actually has like a you know like a human body like something pumping blood and stuff throughout his veins. He he does get his arm severed, but I'm not really sure like like is it just like breaking off a piece of a rock or is it like uh you know being put back on? And then not only that with the with the girl's sealing magic the sealing magic, I wonder if she can, like, seal it back on to him, even if it, could she use her sealing magic in terms of, um, you know, healing, because essentially all you gotta do is say, like, instead of healing somebody, you can just say, oh, I'm sealing their wound together, and, you know, boom, it's all right, but then, uh, after he knocks off the first Wizard King's, um, arm, you know, everybody starts slipping out, he's like, it's like, oh, man, this man got stronger now that he got a body and a grimoire. And that's when we see Asta comes in and his anti-magic sword just cuts right through the uh, demon's trident. And he actually used a trident to cut off the first Wizard King's arm. And we see that he was, like, propelled forward by, you know, you know, kind of showing that they're the new the new uh, duo of this generation. The licked in the first Wizard King. With I guess Asta would be even I don't know one you know it's a half elf so who knows really but yeah and that's when the chapter actually ends though so I'm actually I'm excited for chapter two hundred seven but all in all these last couple chapters of Black Clover have been pretty great which leaves me worried of like what's what's gonna be the next arc after this because the the author said that he plans on going on for like years and years. But, um, I don't know, because this kind of seems like the ultimate boss. But we did get an introduce, introduction of uh, dwarves. Did they say dwarves? Yeah, I think they just call them dwarves. They, we did get an introduction of dwarves, so maybe they're the next villain. Maybe. Who knows? But if you made it this far in the video, first off, thank you. Uh, second, feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe, and wherever you are, peace.